Hey everyone, this is Sky, and welcome back. And you wouldn't guess where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm actually uh, still in bed. It's like after 7 a.m. in the morning, but I've had some thoughts, and I wanted to really quickly put it on video, because at my age, you forget these things really fast. Just kidding. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is related to age, um, and all the things that's been going on recently. And also re, uh, ties into my last video. Uh, I think in my last video I talked about um, continuing working out and things like that. You know, and just trying to really be who I really am. Um, I think it was the uh, Two-Spirit video or something like that. Um, and in that video it was all true. However, uh, in this past week I've come to a, revela bleh, a revelation. <laughs> um and it's the fact that I am getting older, like, old, <laughs> um, in comparison to most people I know today. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm, I'm 52, and I'm not getting any younger. And I know a lot of y'all will say that age is just a number, which is true to an extent. We all do have a shelf life, um, and I'm getting closer to that shelf life. I still got a long ways to go. However, um, all the things that I've been doing in the past four years uh, has been great. It's been fun. Um, but it's also been kind of a setback um, or holding me back in my transition. And I've come to realize now that um, it's more true now than it has ever been, mainly because I'm not able to recover the way I used to. I'm not younger. Um, and the sooner that I realize that, the better off I'll be. And the reason why I'm saying is the fact that um, this past year has been really rough uh, between being sick and things like that. And I refuse to believe or realize it that I uh, can't recover like I used to. More so now than before. And I think it's because being sick and uh and just overall my overall condition i just seem to be always dealing with stuff um in in health and i think the reason why is because i'm pushing myself way too hard and i'm not um for lack of a better way of saying it is i'm just not acting my age <laughs> um and it's cause and it's causing me all kinds of uh problems so, just thinking about all those things and this week just realizing it because my last workout really beat me up. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, um, I can link it or whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't post it on this video. I'll post it on my fitness uh, YouTube. But um, I can leave a link and you can see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So... Those are some of the things I've been thinking about this week, and I just wanted to do a quick video on it. Um, the uh, in, in conclusion is the fact that um, I have come to the realization that I do need to slow down. Um, I need to do things within the means where my body can recover. And being that I'm on this new, you know, hormone regimen, I want to um, fully capitalize on my transition um, to allow myself to feminize as much as possible, uh, which means, you know, cutting back on, you know, anything that's going to cause me to um, build muscle, mainly because uh, my body frame, you know, obviously was, you know, from my previous life of being, you know, male. <laughs> and, um, when I build muscle, it's not going to come out the same way as if a cisgender female was to do the same. Um, even though a lot of people will tell me that, you know, when I was working out like that, that, you know, I still looked feminine. But in some, a lot of ways, I just think these people are just trying to make me feel good about myself. Because, um, I mean, body image is still important. Um, and that's the reason why I'm transitioning to begin with, because I didn't want to look like a, you know, a dude. And, um, I just think uh, what I've been doing just kind of set me back. 
Uh, that's my own personal opinion, by the way. But, um, I mean, there will be people that argue about that. <laughs> but, again, I think in their minds, they just want to, you know, me to feel okay with whatever. I guess it's a body positive image thing. I don't know. Anyways, um, for me, it's not good enough. Um, so, I am going to, you know, continue to allow my hormones to like just take over and just do their thing I've been getting used to gaining some weight um, I am going to maintain a certain level of body fat but I'm not going to allow it to get out of hand either so I have to manage that you know and that's going to be probably through more cardio than anything else but other than that um, yeah uh, the conclusion is that I am going to really focus now on my transition versus, you know, martial arts and all the other things. I mean, those skills will always be there. Um, I just won't be as practiced. Um, but generally, yeah, I'm just going to finish my transition the best way that I can. <laughs> So hopefully this video isn't too disturbing the fact that I'm in bed right now. Um, but I just wanted to do that before I totally lost, you know, focus and or just just didn't do the video in general. <laughs> Anyways, I will catch y'all later. Bye.